now we're going to put the connections on here. Um, before we do that, though, just going to my elevation where I'll be looking at this, visibility and graphics, and I'm going to scroll down to the structural connections. And you'll notice that they're not checked. So I am going to just tick all those boxes to make sure I can see the connections in my elevation because it will be a lot easier to do that in the elevation. You can see that a number of them have already appeared now. So let's go back to the 3D. OK, let's click on the column and a side rail, steel connection. And I'm going to change it from the one that we were using earlier to a single purlin angle. And as you can see, that's pretty much spot on for what I want here. As before, though, you can click edit type, duplicate it and change different sizing aspects and so forth like you can with the other connections. Now go to south elevation and now I want to copy that. Now my side rails I set at 900 apart. So I'm just going to do that, point down in straight line 900 and repeat. OK, escape twice. And then I'll click on each of those, holding down the control key. And again, copy. 6,000. OK, let's keep out of that. And now this time I want to click on the beam system boundary and then click on each of the beams. There we go. And of course, highlight these connections. OK, I can leave out the ones on that side. Zoom out a bit copy. So this time 12,000. Drops those in and then I'll do another 12,000 over there and then I can... That's fine. It deletes the bits we don't need on the far side, the connections, because there's no column to connect to. Then I want to click on the boundary of this final beam system and I'm going to edit the boundary of it and I will just drag that along to the face of the beams by there. And I'm going to tick. And then I'm going to do the same on this one as well. There we go. Click on that, edit the boundary, and I'm going to drag that one out a bit. There. And there we go. So that gives us our connections on the side rails. So the next thing would be to actually mirror them to the far side of the building. 